Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I'll be showing you how to use the, utilize the analog signal, analog output of your click PLC. First, you need a PLC that can actually output an analog signal. And um, usually you'll know if, if it is analog signal because sites like Automation Direct will tell you directly. So, what you first want to do is no matter what model you have, you want to be sure which outputs, which addresses you need to be using. So go to con system configuration and have a look at what you see. So it'll come up with this window. So it shows you module type. This is the one I have. Inputs, IO, you know, all the IO that you can ever want. So what you're looking for is uh, this output here, DF, that's going to be on addresses DF5 and DF6. So now that we know the addresses that we need to use, we're going to close out of this, go into here, and then uh, since we know that it's also a floating point, DF, floating, uh, I think it's a decimal floating, we want to use something like a math coil. We can put in a number, go to your address picker, and then go to DF. So you'll know if uh, you're looking for the right thing if these are used. So we remember that we're using DF5 and DF6. So DF5 and DF6. DF5 corresponds to um, DAV1, if I remember correctly. Probably don't. And then now this will constantly write the value of 2 to this DF5, and that analog output will now output a signal that's proportional to this integer. And you can put, and you can just do things as normal as you normally would. So, you know, x0, oops x001 uh, whenever you whenever x001 sees a 24 volt input it will start writing to it and you can have uh, other things like uh, but like when it's not actuated you can just have it control c control v you can just have it um, write a value of zero to make it go into the off state. So that's pretty much uh, the whole tutorial. So if you're going to stay longer, what you would use this for is you would use it to communicate with um, stuff like um, stepper motor drivers or servo drivers or even just regular motor drivers. Basically, the analog outputs on these things, at least the model I'm using, is 0 to 10 volts. It may vary from model to model, but check your documentation to be doubly sure. And in my experience, that these ranges will usually go from 0 to 100. I guess is that it's like a percentage of the voltage you can output. Even though it says it's a 12-bit resol uh, 12-bit resolution that me that doesn't mean it goes you have to put in something like 4096 for the uh, actual number you don't have to do linear math or any of that kind of thing so anyway that's it for this video